Have you ever come across a picture of data and thought, I wish I could just copy the data in this picture into Power Query? Well, in this video today, I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT to do exactly that. We're going to take an image of a table and see how we can turn it into working Power Query M code. Let's find out. If we Google for table of data and go to the images, you're going to find lots of different tables, but let's take a relatively simple one like this one here. I'm going to open the website and I kind of like this. It's a table with four columns and uh, three rows with data in there. So what we can do is I want to actually get this data into Power Query. Why would I want that? Well, it's sometimes just really useful if you do a challenge and somebody shows a picture of their code that you can use it right away. Or perhaps you have a PDF or whatever you have very useful to just get your data. Now, once you have this, you can go to ChatGPT, and out here, I'm going to go and say, uh, for ChatGPT 4.0, I'm going to paste the picture. And what I'm going to ask is, please generate a table in Power Query using the table function. Make sure it has appropriate data types. That's what we're going to do. Let's see what happens if I press enter. This will make it digest. What does the picture look like? The user wants to have the code and it will give us the M code right away. Now, if I copy this, I can go to Power Query and in Power Query, I can then go to the advanced editor, copy paste, and let's compare our outcome here. So the table that I provided started with column name, which we have, then sex, height, and weight, that all looks in order. And then the values we're looking at are of type text, and these are of type number. And if we look at each of the values, actually it mimics it directly. Could you have done this manually? Of course, but AI is there to make your coding quicker, convenient, and make your work more fun. So I hope you like this. Look for videos that are coming up if you wanna learn more about using AI with Power Query. Uh -huh.